Hey guys, it's John with Area 419. Today I want to talk about our decision to bring in a tool presetter, specifically this Speroni Futura model. This is a full CNC, gives us both axis CNC. We can also interchange the chucks for Capto, CAT, HSK. We have everything that we have in the shop. It's also programmable, so once you have a tool loaded in there, uh, all you have to do is basically press go again. It knows all the points to check again. So it just makes it a lot easier on the guys in the shop to run it. The decision really started with when we added our NTX 1000 to make muzzle brakes in-house. Previously, a tool setter wasn't much of a concern because we mostly machined all 6061 aluminum. We weren't wearing out tools, so it didn't really mean much to us. But with the, with the NTX, we wear out three to four end mills every day that need to be replaced. And running the tool preset in the machine is a pretty timely process so it shuts the machine down for probably about an hour a day while the guys were replacing end mills now we can set these our main end mill here we can set these up on the Speroni and load all the geometry into the machine while the machine is making parts so that was the biggest selling point for us we were also thinking about dies in the future and in here we got a, a reamer running right now. We're able to preset the length on of them, which isn't that important to us, but when we get a fresh reamer, we can measure all the dimensions of it and compare it over time so we know when it's time to replace it. That was a really big point of concern for us to, to take advantage of. After that, we learned we really liked using it on the, especially in the horizontals. Uh, when we tool up a machine or even we can keep the machine running, we can measure a tool over here, load all the geometry in, and never shut the machine down because we can load the tool into the back of the magazine. And then one other thing that we use it a lot for is uh, the boring heads for making scope rings. We can set a tool up here right on the spot. I mean, we can set it uh, within two tenths on this. That's what it comes out to in the machine. So it takes all the guesswork out of setting up a boring head. Another thing the presetter allows us to do is check runout on tools. Uh, we do use a lot of tools in uh, milling chucks, hydraulics, and shrinks where uh, runout's not really adjustable but is usually perfect. But in a lot of situations, we do still use collets, uh, specifically on this reamer here. We can run a runout test on here. It makes it a lot easier than trying to do it in the machine with an indicator. Runout's so important on tools like this because we're setting the center of the capto with a, a, a master capto tool so we know where dead center of this tool is but we need to make sure that the tool actually is located on that center if we're going to plunge it into a into a die blank. As a business owner I know a lot of times it's easier to spend a bunch of money on a machine tool because the result is so visible. Uh, it's making parts all day, it's making you money. Something like a presetter, it's hard to really show the, the return on it, but anything in my mind that can make processes in the shop easier, allow the guys to do their job quicker, uh, maybe even allow less people to do more work, the return is still there. And something like this also allows us still to make better products. Uh, when we're going after that last little bit, this is where the stuff matters. <laughs> 